Hey guys, this is Rodeska coming to you with a video tutorial for getting your proportions for your character. Uh, some tips and tricks to help you with your proportions um, and editing your proportions inside of ZBrush for your female faces. All right, so let's get started. All right, so you can see that I have this plane here. I've been working on this pretty much all morning. Um, just kind of getting the proportions I want from the female head. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's slightly off, um, but I'm still working on it. It's slightly off in proportion, but I am uh, I'm definitely still working on it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you my tips and tricks for how I get to this point, and you know, hopefully it'll help you guys in the future for uh, doing the same type of faces. All right, all right. So let's get started. So the first thing that I usually do is I uh, I used to go in and I used to use a harsh um, material. Uh, but as you can see, these shadows right here aren't really helping with the silhouette when it comes to the inner part of the model. Um, you do have this little nifty tool right here that'll help you with your silhouette, but unfortunately, as it is black on the inside of it, you can't really see. And shadows like this don't really help with being able to see um, the proportions. It's really hard to it's really hard to see. So what I do is I kind of switch it to a matte cap skin that they already have installed in ZBrush. It is the matte cap skin 05 or 06, whichever one you want to use. And even though it still has the shadows here, um, it is allowing you to see better the uh, silhouette. You can even switch it to any other kinds that you want. Maybe there's a skin. Um, it's not going to be here all the time. It's just simply to help you with your uh, sculpting. And then once you're done, you can kind of just get rid of it. Um, I know that it, it, like things like this kind of help, like it burns your eyes when you see it, but it is going to help you with kind of, you know, adjusting things that you can't really normally see if you're just, you know, sculpting with the basic materials. All right. Basic materials are really good for kind of getting, uh, you know, closer and closer to those really big details or those smaller details. But when it comes to stuff like this, you kind of want to be able to see the inner part of your mesh and be able to see what you're sculpting. All right. So um, these uh, these materials, these skin materials really do help. Um, second thing I like to do is I like to go up to my document and I change that to a brighter um, color. Again, this is something that's probably going to burn your eyes. But if it's a color that is drastically different from the model itself, it's going to help you with being able to see the outer um, parts of your mesh a little bit easier and whereas this thing does an amazing job sometimes it's a little too small and you can't see so again also if you hit V you can then be able to switch it to a black color V as you can see it's switching it to a black color and this will be able to you know help you with your silhouette as well so just keep that in mind um, when you're first starting your characters you want to focus on the silhouette of your model and once you have the the shapes you know, as, as close as you want, then you're going to start to go into the mid, you know, kind of details. All right. And the next thing that I like to do is I like to now add polyplanes. Um, polyplanes, if you don't know, the structure of the head is basically inside of a polyplane. Um, it's inside of a, uh, uh, a, a cube shape. So if we go in and we kind of adjust this to the head, all right, control shift D to duplicate that. And I'm actually just going to turn it this way now. Okay, so now we have it. We have two planes, and I'm just going to hide this one for now. Um, what you want to do is you want to actually go into your polyplane. Um, let me actually scale that back up. I don't know why that did that. All right, try to fit it between the chin and the top of the head as best as you can. And you'll notice that I have two subdivisions here. I have one right here and one right here. Um, this is essentially the proportions of the head, okay? So halfway down the cube, you want to have where your brows are going to sit or your, you know, basically the top of your eyelid, okay? Um, and then what you're going to do is halfway through that, you're going to add another one, all right? And that's going to be about where your nose is going to sit. See, I'm a little bit off. Um, but again, I'm also a little bit off in just like the measurements, but that's okay. Uh, and then halfway between that, you're going to have the um, bottom lip structure in there, okay? So... You're going to go halfway is your eyebrow, halfway between that is your nose, where your nose sits, halfway between that is where your uh, is where your uh, bottom lip would sit, okay? So there we go. Now you have your proportions. And the way you can see this, because you can't see this if I go out of this, you can't see those lines there. Um, so what, what can you do to put those lines there? Well, 
what we could do is we can do a polygroup. So if I go in here and I polygroup this, and I polygroup this, and I polygroup this, now we have polygroups on this. Oh yeah, and halfway between this, um, the upper part, this is where your hairline is gonna be. So essentially here is where your hairline is about, all right? So now we have we have a gradient structure for our or a color structure for where our proportions are going to be. Now how do we how do we use this to help us? Well, what we could do is we can go into our poly paint. If you go into poly paint, then you can go to poly paint from poly groups. Now, as you can see right here, it's going to give you this nasty rainbow-like gradient, um, and we don't like that. So what we need to do is we need to go into our geometry tab, go to unweld groups border. What that's going to do is it's going to split these edges and create two vertices per each like section, right? Um, and then what you could do is you can go to your poly paint, go to poly paint from poly groups, and turn off your wireframe. And now, as you can see, now we can see our uh, color uh, proportion, our uh, proportion proportion color structure setup. All right, so there you have it. We have our hairline about right here. We have where our brows are going to sit right here. We have where our nose is about to sit, and we have where our bottom mouth is about to sit. All right. Uh, you can even go e even further with that, but um, I wouldn't because it's really hard to kind of manage. But basically, you know, you put your eyes in there. Your eyes are going to line up and all that. But, you know, it's a little bit tougher to do that. Um, I would just kind of uh, remember that your eyes, your whole head is about eye, uh, five eyes right here. It's, it's like the, the widest point is supposed to be your cheeks. The widest point is your cheeks and then like then you have like your eye is supposed to be like there's like what five five eyes in between the head um and then like the widest point of the head would be like back here um where the ear is going to sit so yeah we'll we'll get into that in just a second but basically now we have this plane right here and this is going to be our side proportions um so the way i set that up is to go into cogwheel go to our polyplane um i want to make sure that our polyplane is the same size okay it is and then what we're going to do is we're going to BZM um, for our Z modeler brush, and we're going to kind of set this up. So uh, halfway between this is going to be about where our cheekbone is going to sit. So about here is where our cheekbone should be. And then halfway in between this is where our corner, uh, our brow, excuse me, our yeah, our brow, and then where our cheek, and then where our corner of our mouth is going to line up and where our chin is going to sit. So essentially right around here is where all that's going to sit. And then your head should fit inside of this cube. If the head is a little bit smaller than the cube, um, I would say kind of adjust the head a little bit more. But it shouldn't be too bad. Um, shouldn't be too bad. But essentially you want to have the head completely inside of this cube um, fitting the borders. So if your head isn't reaching the border of this, maybe your head is a little bit too... Um, disproportionate and you need to figure that out as you can see mine is a little bit disproportionate so I need to figure that out okay halfway back here would be where the um, largest part of your head is going to be so uh, like I said before so about right here is where the largest point of your head is going to be so if we go back up to our head go to our move brush um, about right around here is where the back of your head is going to be the widest so if we pull that out this is where the back of your head is going to be the most widest at. Okay. And then if we look from the top, we should we should have it a little bit wider than that. Just a little bit. Don't make it too wide. Okay. And then from the front of your face, the cheekbones are actually going to be the widest point of your face. So these would be the widest point. Okay. But for an anime girl like this, I'm not going to go too much into like realism. Um, although I am going to kind of restructure her head to where it kind of fits this. So maybe I should pull this all the way back and see what is the deal with that. But I do have a lot of fixing to do in terms of the proportions. But yeah. That's essentially what I do to kind of help me out with the measurements. And again, you need to do the same thing with this. You know, you need to go in here and, you know, split this off. Um, make polygroups for each one of these. Okay, and then you're going to go to your 
let's see, geometry tab, go to unweld groups border, go to poly paint, poly paint from poly groups. And there you have it. You have your, uh, you have your measurements for helping you out. All right. So yeah, I hope this has helped you guys in getting your proportions. Uh, if you have a comment, please leave it down below. Um, and uh, yeah. All right. See you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.